My name is Mai, and I'm part of the Medicine Glasgow Committee. The reason I'm talking to you today with a GoPro strapped to my head is because I'm promoting the Medicine National Conference, which is being held at the University of Glasgow this November. And um, I'm taking you on a little journey with me through some of the suburbs of Glasgow to discuss something called the Glasgow Effect and the poverty crisis within the UK itself. We're currently cycling around a place called Kelvin Grove Park, which is one of the most affluent areas in Glasgow. The life expectancy here in Kelvin Grove area is 82 years, which is one of the highest in Scotland. And to prove this point, um, I'm going to show you a thing called the Scottish Index of Multiple Deprivation, also known as the SIMD. Basically, that's just a fancy name for a big colour-coded map. And the map ranks areas on the level of affluence or deprivation. So Kelvin Grove, the high life expectancy, good housing, good quality of education and whatnot. This is ranked in one of the blue areas. And blue means affluent, whereas red means deprived. So I'm currently leaving the park. And this will take me to a road called Great Western Road, which cuts through the heart of Glasgow, intersects all the way from east to west. Well, I'm currently crossing Great Western Road, and already the life expectancy of this street is 73. That's nine years difference from Kelvin Grove, which is literally about 200 metres away. If I continued in this direction, for about half a mile, we'd reach Apostle Park, an area where the life expectancy is 69 years old, which is one of the lowest in Scotland. What's more, in Apostle Park, the percentage of children not in education is 108% greater than that Glasgow average. And this is the crux of the Glasgow effect. Such huge differences in not only life expectancy, but social environment, quality of healthcare, access to education, and nowhere else in the UK has such discrepancies between the affluent areas and the more deprived areas. In a city of only about half a million people, you can have a difference of life expectancy up to 15 years, depending on the postcode that you live in. It's hugely complex. Uh, there's a multitude of different factors that contribute to such extreme ends of the social living. And so if you'd like to hear more about the Glasgow Effect, then like Medicine Glasgow on Facebook and buy some tickets to our conference. <laughs>